Hi there. You joined me at a critical stage in my career, Cal, as you can see. I'm walking about here, clutching a carry-out bag, waiting to curse and swear at no one in particular. <laughs> Back to basics, you might say. In rock and roll terms, this is Rapsi's unplugged acoustic tour after the stadium rock of jail cell kickings and pub brawls. Why? How you do that? Why? Well, I'll tell you why, ya bum bum bum. But first, a spot of intimidation. Excuse me while I go into character. Hey, go on. You have to be more than a cousin, my bastard, ya. Go on, get me. I can be a bad big swine when I want to be. But there is a rational explanation for this irrational behaviour. How can I explain? I can't. So in the absence of cold logic, would you settle for another self-destructive act? You would? Excuse me. <laughs> Fairly self-destructive, I'm sure you'll agree. But what can I do? I am in the grip of a force far, far greater than I. Right, ma'am. Jimsy, you know. Well, uh, me and... Did you get that? Don't nag me, Mary. Don't nag you? You disappear for three days, then turn up with a head in a Safeway bag, and you accuse me of overreacting. You ran out of corned beef. What can I tell you? Hey, this head's in better nick than yours at the minute, Dad. Hey, looks a bit like me. What do you think? Aye, except it's a wee bit full on the face than you. Yeah, you're quite cocky for a fat bird. I admire that. <laughs> You're a married man, mate. You should be looking for work. Oh, it smells great. What is for dinner? Pork? Pork? Bridie hen, don't sit so near the fire. Your leg's cooting. <laughs> Gosh, after dinner, could we have a, a wee talk? What about? You know what about? Oh, aye. Aye, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Ella? What? What's wrong? I wish I knew, Mary. It's caught her. He's behaving bizarrely, even by his standards. I'm not coming down. I'm not coming down. I'm not asking you to come down. But if you're going to stay up, you can at least dust the bloody <laughs> Well, He's been a bender for three days and appears to have taken up grave robbing, but apart from that, it's business as usual, no? Eh, uh, I think you need an update on that, Ma. Eh? Talk to me. Nobody talks to a table lamp unless they're completely up their heat. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> well, uh, what do you reckon of? Do you fancy a wee refreshment? Oh, I don't know, Jamesy. I'm still recovering after being refreshed out my skull for three days. You say cocktails, huh? Lethal. She attracts him to nutters like you and I. Maybe we should go back in the beer, James. Beer? Oh, aye, aye. Maybe we could also go back to wearing short trousers and smoking cinnamon sticks in the playground. Look, James, do you want to end up tapping that world up again? No! No. And I don't want a career as a table lamp. It took me four years to get that flex out my ass. <laughs> Come on. Like I said, it's cocktail hour. Forget the chills, just hit the pills. Every night, for 79, it's cocktail hour with me, my dog. <laughs> On a scale of 10, how mad do you think he is? Ah, uh, kind of depends. What are you? An 8. I think his eyes just hedge it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what are you for, Andrew? No, a cocktail, Rab. Anything but a cocktail. The, the last time I had one of his cocktails, I spent three days lying under the living room carpet, convinced I was a life insurance policy. <laughs> the sooner Maury comes back, the better. 
Where the hell is he anyway? Enlightenment seminar training. That's why we're stuck with Tweedledum here. Only a rehab would be desperate enough to do relief in a dump like this. Now, we don't know he's been in the clink. Well, there's one way to find out. Hey, my dog. Where is he trying to be a barman? Broadmoor. He swings it for me. Hey, boys, don't be like that. So I murdered four people. Let's live and let live, eh? Hey, your court daddy, I think we're looking at nine here. And besides, that's what I learned to fix cocktails. We call them cocktails. We call them Alka Pops for psychos. Believe it. Inside, I mix with some of the finest deranged minds in the country. Takes more than a few glugs of buck fast to ring the guys' bells. I work in a curtain block. Do you know that programme, Ready Steady Cook? Aye. Aye, well, yours was more like ready, steady, smear your body with pig's blood and run about the exercise yard naked. <laughs> What's a must uh, Channel 4, was it? I tell you, this killer's reached part of the human psyche. Heineken would need a vampire and a hellhound to find. <laughs> ah, but enough cosy nostalgia. What do you want to drink, boys, eh? Eh, uh, four shandies. Shandies? Come on, guys, it's cocktail hour. He's only fair, are you? I mean, look at him. He's been in my cocktails all week. That's what we're worried about. He's just 22. <laughs> he, this is, this is Sandy's. I know you, Paul. You've got the look. The look? What look? The look that says that you're not fair to turn your eyeballs round and stare hard into the jaws of your very nature. The look that says that you're not fair to gaze on the mind-bending reality of your hidden desires. So what's it going to be? Shandy or a cocktail? Uh, cocktail. <laughs> and the rest is? See these hidden desires. Might that include, say, lap dancers and the occasional weather girl? It's your psyche, partner. Hmm? Give me a cocktail. Boys? <laughs> no, no, no for me. Uh, once a man's been hoovered a few times, his values start to change. Uh, Dodie? <laughs> well, I've never been hoovered. But I did once covet my neighbour's ox, which was difficult because he didn't have an ox. <laughs> so I bought him one. <laughs> Smeared his bahuki with wild honey. <laughs> Sprinkled on some hundreds and thousands. Got down on my knees. Easy, 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 big man, easy. easy. <laughs> your tablets are in your coat. Come on. Cheers, Dodie. <laughs> Just the one then, Rob. I mean, one, one, the one's not going to do us any harm, is it? The look that says that you're not fair to turn your eyeballs round and stare hard into the jaws of your very nature. The look that says that you're not fair to gaze on the mind bending reality of your hidden desires. Morning, Rob. Push ball rap. We've been getting our stomachs pumped. <laughs> Cocktails. Cocktails rap. Has to stop. Oh no. You fancy another one? Aye. <laughs> rap. Oh. Cocktails. You're addicted to cocktails. Aye, and if you start ripping a picture at me, I'm not going to tell you anymore. Oh, well, excuse me, Rab. I mean, it's hardly an everyday governor currents, is it? It's up there with silk glass and choking in an oyster. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, you. Just keep pricing the prams. <sighs> but do I have to keep wearing the blinkers? You know they help you to concentrate. <laughs> Sod off. Look, just don't start me, right? Bring on one of my headaches. Oh, what headaches? Oh, don't let her get one of your headaches. How no? How? What happens? <laughs> well, pretty much that since you asked. I'll kill you, Zoe. I'll kill you, Zoe, you bastard, so I will. You don't hate me because I'm fat. We don't hate you because you're fat. We hate you because you're ugly. Now, this is my pleasure. If you want a pleasure, I'll wait back your own house and have one. Got me? Right. 
That's it. Your son is missing a napa. <laughs> well, the doctor recommended therapy, but I suppose a chip pan's made immediate. <laughs> you alright? I'm doing my best, Mary. I'm doing my best. That's what I want to hear, Rob. Because this is a family crisis here. I'm not even a bloody family yet. Now, I want us to put our petty differences aside and start bonding, right? <laughs> Rab. Huh? I'm just saying, are you enjoying yourself? Oh, marvellous, me, marvellous. I'm like picnic. I haven't had one of these in 20 years. I wonder why we've waited so long to have another one. Probably because they're a heap of shite. <laughs> What's in them? Cold turkey. <laughs> a delicious scent of humour, son. Remind me when that white rhino of a wife of yours comes back to make some preservation jokes. Aye, where is she anyway, son? Grazing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's great to have a scapegoat again, isn't it, Mary? Actually, she's tracking down baby clothes. I think our Wayne detector picked up the sound of a squeaky pram somewhere in Asia Minor and that threw her back into pining mode. Son, I can understand her being keen, but tell me this. Is she actually pregnant yet? Yeah? Well, that's in our story. Hey, uh, Jamesy. What? Bro. Aye. But I'll have something to eat first. <laughs> <laughs> That is mere like it. You're always counting Jamesy to give you a good laugh, eh, Ella? Aye. Sometimes it's even intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Timing's everything comedy, isn't it? It's no use. It's no use. Well, it's no use. That four-foot rubber eel you call a backbone. Uh, I'm in hell here. Look at me. I'm sitting here entertaining you all with gusto and getting right tore in with a merry quip. But it's a sham. It's the tears of a clown. <laughs> no, Jamesy. It's the snivelling of a retard. <laughs> Can't you get me up there, for God's sake? I can't get up. Rub him down. I'm clamming for a cocktail. Do you think I'm not clamming up for a cocktail at all? It's no easy this cold turkey, you know. Oh, get him! <laughs> because I will tell you this. This is the most difficult thing I have ever had to do, and I'd I just like to thank my wife for her support here. Through in this wonderful family picnic. Thanks, Rob. Which I am determined to enjoy. Even though family picnics bore the ass at me. <laughs> so near and yet so far. All right, so you're a hero. Now shut up and have a swally. I can't have a swally. A swally does not hit a spot for me anymore. It's hell, I tell you. It's hell. Look around you. Half a Glasgow punter's gone about their business. Look, look. Fresh faced young junkies mugging from tourists. Look, 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 look at Jakey's bloated, picking fights with trees. But I'll tell you, I will never give in to my diction. Never. As long as I have the support of my family around me. What? What's alert? Go, Jimmy! Go! Go! <laughs> you junkie bastard! <laughs> no trust it, you! Eh, uh, you're kind of laid back for a snatch victim, you know? My snatch is no victim, hen. <laughs> Bitch. A deceitful, untrusting bitch. How much have you got, James? <laughs> 34 pence. Off a fig roll and an unused. Sorry, a used condom. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Okay, just leave it to me, leave it to me. There you go, gents. Two Broadmoor cocktails, 750. Have you got to change your pair of tweezers? <laughs> no way, compadre. You know the code. No mud, no fun, no pay, no play. Oh, come on, pal, we're desperate. Of course he's are desperate. It's your job to be desperate. You's are addicts. I supply, you get high. If this pub's too dear, I'll wait and find somewhere less classy. Less classy than us? 
What, is the abattoir licensed? I mean, where are we going to go on a budget of 84 pence and a set of bloody carby grips? If I was let loose in the streets for one hour, I would have enough dosh to get absolutely stoned and have a week in Florida. How? What am I, are you going, Ronnie? Good shit, guide. Use your imagination. Hmm. Whatever happened to the old days, Rob? He used to get pissed, throw up, fall down, get scraped up off a gutter and delivered at the front door by the bin men in the early shift. There is no point in a man decision about the past, James. We've stepped out the, the Premier League of Alcohol into the Vauxhall Conference League of Drug Addiction. God alone knows where he fits in the cocktails. Look, Anderson, here come my tourists. Rob, I think this is our most humiliating moment. No, James, I think that's about to happen. God, what if he's into threesomes, Rob? You'll not let me down, will you? I'll not let you down, James. I'll not let you. I mean, obviously, I'll have to burn my willy off with a blowtorch <laughs> effort, but I'll not let you down. Ask <laughs> me up. Good looks can be a curse. See you later, Tim. My ass clammed up that tight there. I'm going to be shaking pearls for a fortnight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I think we can honestly say we've finally touched the bottom. <laughs> Only touched it, Rab. I didn't even find a lot of spanking with a slipper or nothing. This is the worst moment of my life. I feel tainted. Can't you get up yourself, Jimsy? You're a government man. You were born tainted. Come on. Look on the bright side. There's a bright side. Of, of course there's a... I mean, look, you've been to AA, haven't you? Hi. I mean, well, this is our all-time law, Jimsy. Our all-time law. Brilliant, hi. Rob, can you run the fine print past me again, cos... I'm struggling here. Well, this is the point where we realise how much we're going to throw away, we catch a grip of ourselves, go back to our families and start on the road to recovery. Right. And do you swallow all that shit? <laughs> no. No. Neither they are. So come on. Let's just go on with killing ourselves. <laughs> Not hiding her here from in the last four days. Telling you, I can't go on like this. I'm worried sick. I know, Mary. I'm the same. I'm that choked. It's so I can date to shag the lodger. <laughs> You've let James's room? You can't agree forever, Mary. Now, what you've got to do is put that last 25 years of your life behind you and forget about it. Try watching The Simpsons or something. I'll be sure to give you a call when the body bags turn up. Cheerio. Aye. Cheers, Ella. Ha, oh, towel. I'm doing a whitewash the morning. These are coloured sheets. Gosh. It's nothing at all to worry about. I've read this happens to lots of men. Aye, for stroke victims and guys with horrible wasting diseases. Not for a young, fit dude like me. It's a pure humiliation, so it is. I know. I can't wait to feel the last he's in the rehab centre. What? I'm probably joking, Gash. Look, it's actually a positive thing. Because it tells me that you've got a tender, sensitive side to you and... Well, that you're not just using women for your own selfish pleasure. Well, thanks, Nat. No bother. So have you always been a poof or is this a new thing? <laughs> Plus, go to the kitchen and get a sandwich. We'll try standing over the oven. The hot air might help it. <laughs> You all right, Sam? No, don't ask. I wish my dad was here. You do? Aye. He's married. He knows what it's like to feel trapped, miserable, bored and unhappy. <laughs> I flatter myself that I might have helped you, son. <laughs> you know, people 
mercy me, Rob, we despise you. You drink to escape reality, and I say, oh, I get it. I drink to increase reality. I drink to escape boredom, you know. <laughs> because once, once you're in your forties, life's nothing but repetition, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I want to live. That is why I drink. One thing about being in the gutter, you're never stuck for company, you know what I'm saying? All right, Jimmy. Jimmy? 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 You needed me. And I wasn't in the air for you. Oh, bloody drugs! That is it! That is it! I do solemnly swear on Big Jehovah's Pringle Jumper, I will never touch drink or drugs again as long as I live. All right, all right, fair enough, I'm lying about the drink. <coughs> oh, God. What am I going to tell his whistle? <laughs> I'm glad you find this funny, Ella. Oh, it's nothing personal, son. It's just that your aunt Ella's twisted. You know that. <laughs> oh, I love to hear about young folk having marital problems, Mary. It's reassuring you know that misery cuts right through the age barriers, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm living testimony to that. A husband day walk for five days without so much as a... Rob? Mary. Hello. I'm afraid I've got a bit of bad news. It's a bit Jimsy. All right, Rob. <laughs> Why you found my shiny brilliant? Me. You'll never guess what happened to me. Surprise me. Well, I wakened up at the side of the road, right? And there was this big animal grunting next to me. So I thought, I don't remember being up a singles club last night. <laughs> well, turns out it's a deer. It's been knocked in me a lorry or something, no, so being a good Samaritan, I batters its brains out with an iron blue bottle, right? Pumps it on my shooter, thumbs a lift up with a slaughter hoosting a comfy down violent, sells it for ready money. Crazy guy, eh? Oh, aye. Crazy guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, you. That's enough. I'm not having any more of your scumball behaviour in my pub. Oh, aye, you, you been the, the, the fine upstanding citizen that you are, you, you drug-dealing, modern bastard. Allegedly. <laughs> you claim. Get yeah, up, stick a heat on him. <laughs> Still pressing charges, though. Sorry, Mary Hen. Looks like as if I'm away on one of my extended business trips again. Oh. I think positive, Rob. I'd none in for your tea anyway. <laughs> You'll find, son, that these unexpected separations can add a wee bit of sparkle to our marriage. In fact, when... Gash? Gash, is that you? Are you coming to bed? You should see what I've got on. Uh, the shepherdess outfit again. Have you been picking? <laughs> yeah, you're quite cocky for a fat bird. I admire that. It's a liberty, Ella. Ten days for nothing a serial killer. I know. It's a sick world, Mary. The truth means nothing. There's no such thing as honour anymore. In fact... Ella! Call you later, Mary. What? Are you cheating on me? Am I what? How can you see a terrible thing like that? Easy. There's a guy's legs sticking out for you under the bed. <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> How big are you? Six foot two, fourteen stone. Wee, eh. I'm going for a wee walk via Huddersfield. Could you be away by the time I get back? Fair enough. 
James a lesson. It's quite all right, Ella. The clues were always there. Right from our wedding day when I caught you asking the priest to delete the phrase, forsaking all others from our wedding vows. Cut to the point, James. If what is it you want? There's only one thing I need for you, Ella. The usual? Aye. Save you a couple of Polaroids, will you? <laughs> what is it with you guys? I can't leave these for four lousy weeks without the place degenerating into a violent, sleazy drug den. Drug den? Ah, the golden month, eh, Andrew? Aye. For a brief instant, we tottered in the brink of fashion. Urban Welsh could have wrote a book about us. Now we're back to being middle-aged, drunken stereotypes. All because he runs a clean and tidy pub. Swine! Hi, Nori, we missed you. I've got to look at a new family as a fresh start, Rab. No a hindrance. And you've got to admit, it's nice having a couple of lassies around the house, isn't it? Don't gild the lily, Mary. We're talking water buffaloes and leggings here. <laughs> I mean, the most important thing is gas is happens. There is a wee bugger anyway. There's something else to see you. All right, Ma. Da. I'm sorry I'm late, but, eh. Uh... I've got to be an announcement to make. I've got to be a feather. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> great news, son. What does Natalie think? Well, she's no too chuffed, actually. In fact, she's up sticks and left me. Left you? But Natalie was desperate to have a win. Aye, but I think she'd have deferred one of her own. <laughs> you? It wasn't my fault. He sneaked into my bed when my back was turned. I just assumed it was my dad. I'm not 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 I'm